Okay, so yeah, if you can toss that underneath, just back to me. I think last time we did this, it was like 5 a.m. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna just go wide and let's see if we can make this corner. There we go. Okay, come over this way a bit. Like it's always about how do you want to impact people? Um, you know, under, under capitalism, yeah, we kind of tend to use this as like, how do I get someone to buy something? I don't want that. What I do want people to go is like, you know, I work a super hard job. COVID is super stressful. I don't get to see my family as much as I want to, but for the next 60 minutes, I'm kind of focusing on this thing. And I think if I, if I focus on this thing and I have this experience outdoors before winter hits, that that might like kind of like carry me through the next four months, which are going to be super hard. So what, what brought you to do something like this? Um, well, I think we love canoeing. We don't actually have our own canoe. We just rent it whenever we go to Algonquin. Yeah. So uh, it's awesome that Matt does this so that it's more accessible to people. You yeah. don't have to take time off work or rent a car or whatever. I think, I think one thing about like experiencing the outdoors is like the outdoors itself is accessible, but not necessarily like all the equipment. Like right now we probably couldn't afford to own our own canoe. So I think there's like value in the sense that the outdoors is here, but sometimes you need equipment. And so when you can share it, then it's free and you can, you can do these experiences. Yeah. And I think maybe then by sharing things, there's more of a community oriented care mm -hmm. for not just the equipment, but also the land and the environment. Uh, I don't want to hold you up too much, but what are you hoping to gain from this experience? A restful morning. Yeah, to be out in nature. And, and then also, yes, you're part of Hamilton. We haven't been able to see from on the water. Yeah. Hiked around here, but not yeah. like actually in the water. Which will be a cool vantage point. When I was looking at buying a boat, I thought let's buy the biggest one possible because I want, I always want two people to take the canoe out. I kind of don't want one person because with two people, you can be 17 feet from each other, but you're still like in the same canoe. And you know, being mindful of COVID, being mindful of like being safe, I just thought to myself, well, like what if, you know, my first goal is kind of like have people feel like there's this big thing going on. But the second goal is if I put two people in a boat and they get to spend time with each other, whether they're, you know, families, friends, neighbors. I think a couple of people have been like definitely on dates. Um, I want them to come away from spending time together two, three, four hours and feeling like we've created a space for them to feel more connected. So when we started, when I started doing this last year, I really had like two goals. Um, the first goal was exactly what you said, which is I want people to grab a canoe easily, go out on the water, and whether they're on the bayfront, whether they're going around the point to Dundas Peak and seeing Dundas Peak from the water, uh, or just going to the inlets, I want them to have this sense of like, wow, there's like this really big thing around me. I want people to have that sense of like, wow, like I have all this stuff going on in my life, but like there's a big thing around me and I'm part of it like right now while I'm on the water. And that's really cool. So the other thing we have is a camp stove if you want to make hot chocolate on the beach. Does someone want this? Sure. Okay, I'll just give you a quick rundown of how it works. Uh, it's okay. Beach. There's beaches all along there. Oh, they look okay. like this. And so how, how do you feel about having like a natural resource that you can enjoy? I feel like it's underutilized. Yeah. It's underutilized. This is my first time here. I think that's a problem. And also stolen land, so like it's probably weird, mm. right? Like respecting it and like uh, treating it with the idea of longevity and sustainability. People are weighed down by like noise uh, and they're weighed down by information. I think that social media is incredibly powerful, right? I think the reason why we're talking is because of, I don't even know how you 
found Instagram. So super powerful to connect people. But ultimately those apps, they all want you to keep scrolling, right? Like their end goal at the end of the day is not for you and I to say, hey, let's meet up, take the canoe out. The end goal of that app is for you to keep scrolling. It's for me to keep scrolling. And that information just keeps coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. And I think what happens is that that force is so powerful that a thing that keeps people from showing up, from being part of community, is the fact that they just get overwhelmed with information. And sometimes that information is very nihilistic. Sometimes that information is there to strictly make you feel like you are completely unable to make uh, any move forward or have any action. And I think that's it. I think people are overwhelmed with information, overwhelmed with images, and that just keeps them in a space where they're stuck. But that, that need to keep scrolling, that's by design. But at the same time, it's a tool that we kind of need because in a bunch of ways, it like, it's not democratic, but it lets you cast a wide net. So yeah, it's a very complex situation we have. This year, um, because of COVID, I've really wanted to push people a bit further because with COVID, we, we have to just do more locally. Mm -hmm. So what I've said to folks is, hey, like even if you live downtown, this is a 20 minute bike ride, that's mm -hmm. it. So I'm gonna bring the canoe, I'm gonna be down here for a couple hours and I really want you to come try this out. Um, so that's like, and that's a fair amount of work on my side in terms of prep. But the other thing we've been doing is we've just been letting people borrow the canoe from our house. Uh, you know, it's a half hour walk like canoe cart portage from our house down to Bayfront. But that's also been really popular too because people can just show up and borrow it. Okay. So we will socially distance hand sure. those so you guys can figure out which ones. I think we, in a lot of circles, we talk a lot about this word community. And I think community is a super important thing, but it's kind of amorphous. And we talk a lot about building community, but like, what does that actually mean? And I kind of like this idea of when we work on things together, that actually builds community. So I'm really interested in, you know, the fact that you come to my house, I have to like haul all my stuff out of the backyard, set it up on the driveway, but you take all that stuff and you walk down Cannon Street with a canoe. And then you go out for a couple hours, you come back and then I put my stuff away. Like, we have worked together on this. And unfortunately, the way that we've done outdoors is that there's this idea that everyone has to buy a canoe. And I'm like, no, I want to undermine all that because ultimately, if you were to look at all the canoes around, I think they only get used like five or six times a year. Like if you were to pull 100 people with canoes in Hamilton, they don't get used that much. And that's not a good way to do stuff. You know, this is probably the first time since I think this is like the first time since World War II that we probably look at the year that's coming up and we're like, you know what? Like all bets are off. Um, and so I think that we have to really just take any opportunity we have to be like, yeah, let's try this thing. Whether it's intentionally letting people borrow canoes from your front yard, whether it's all the different ways that we're trying to do things different because ultimately our goal is always just to connect better with people. We are up and down, we are up and down. Most all the time